Hi, so welcome to this third video in the series uh, for this week for just looking at herbs and thinking about ditching the drugstore. I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead. I am the herbalist, aromatherapist, homesteader, gardener, writer, teacher <laughs> behind this endeavor. And I'm so glad to see you here today. And I'm really excited to share some information with you about herbs. So I've been studying herbalism and herbs in one form or another through natural health and things like this for well over 20 years and then studying herbalism deeply for around the last 10 and um, I've studied aromatherapy intensively within the last five and I've in my work with clients and neighbors and friends one of the things that I hear over and over and over again is how badly they want to be free of addictions to over-the-counter drugs and prescription drugs and the need to be on those um, kinds of pharmaceuticals if they don't have to be so my husband and I haven't taken any prescription or over-the-counter drugs in over 10 years. And this is because we've learned to make our own, we've learned to work with our bodies as a holistic system, and we've been able to get off prescription drugs and completely 100% use herbs and essential oils instead of over-the-counter drugs. The exciting thing is, is that you can ditch the drugstore. You can feel better, you can get healed naturally, you can um, have control of your life and your health, and you can save tons of money. I know this because I've done it myself. My husband and I haven't used any prescription or over-the-counter medications in a, about 10 years now, probably over 10 years, and uh, we have freed ourselves from some really awful over-the-counter drug addictions. And I say addictions because over-the-counter drugs can be very addicting on top of being rather dangerous. So anyway, let me recap the, the first two videos that I did in this series. So in the first video, we took a look at um, the what the possibilities of using herbs and essential oils instead of um, over-the-counter drugs could look like for you. We also made a really easy and simple cough syrup together with only two ingredients, and guess what? One of those ingredients has been clinically studied and proven to work better and, and be better for you than the active ingredient in uh, the over-the-counter cough syrups. <laughs> so honestly, if you get a chance to watch that one, it's totally well worth it for the, for the recipe. The second video, we dug a little bit further and we saw how quickly you can make um, herbal preparations. Uh, seriously, it takes moments most of the time. We uh, actually made an herbal extract, a tincture together, and we also made an aromatic spray in that second video. One of the other things we talked about in that second video was the pill mentality, which uh, most of us have grown up with, and it's been indoctrinated into our modern society for the, the past 150 years. So it's a pretty interesting video. If you didn't watch uh, those two videos, go back and watch them. You'll get at least a couple of great recipes from them and some wonderful information. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're gonna talk about in this video. And now in this third video, we're going to go ahead and talk about something else. We're going to go ahead and talk about the practical application of getting your home apothecary built out, the how of getting your home apothecary built out. And I, I've seen this over and over with, with students over the years, and myself included, when I first started learning. And that is, is that you start learning about using herbs, you try a few things, they work, you get all excited, <laughs> and then you want to make all the things. And the thing is, is that if, if you want a practical and useful home apothecary, you need to be intentional about it and um, you need to have a plan and so I just want to talk about how, how to have that plan in this video. So I remember back to when I was first starting my own herbal journey and I just wanted to make all the things. I was so excited and I made so many things and then they just sat in the cupboard and never got used. <laughs> and this is definitely a sticking point for new herbalists and people new to the herbal world. So what I learned after all these years is that it's very, very wise to choose herbs that have multiple uses. It's a must to hone in on what your personal family needs and and start with the priority needs first. 
And it's also important to plan to have quick and easy options in place that you have at your fingertips that you can use at a moment's notice, or at least have ingredients on hand that you can do that with, like that super handy um, cough syrup we made in the first video. <laughs> so I just want to talk about case studies for a moment, just very quickly, and I'm not going to dive deeply into these. Um, I'm going to give you a link where you can learn a lot more, but I just want to talk about a few of my students really fast, because what ends up happening is when people go down the herbal route, I have seen over and over and over again that when they take charge of their wellness, things start happening, good things start happening. And what ends up happening is often they get healthier and they can get off of the, the drugs that they're taking. Um, now, if you're on prescription medications and your goal is to get off your prescription meds, that is completely possible, but I suggest you definitely work with your uh, medical uh, doctor in order to do that. That's very, especially depending on what prescription you're on. It's really a good idea to do take due tests and, and know where you're at with your numbers at all times. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my friend Cindy really quickly. So she was in the last round of my course and she ended up being able to get off of, I don't know, two or three different prescription meds that were causing her some real problems. And she, <laughs> I was a little nervous about that, but she assured me that she had her test done and she was doing it under the authority of her doctor and she attributes her success to using the herbs instead. So this is a little bit of on top of her drugstore meds, but I was just amazed and so happy for her. Another student of mine, Sandy, her husband was experiencing really uh, terrible breathing issues, was on an inhaler and, and just struggled, uh, was on many, many medications. She started working with him and literally within a year, his breathing is so much better and the doctors are amazed. And then there's my friend Amy, same thing. She was on an inhaler and had to use it twice a day and it was costing her $135 a month. She's now off that inhaler, and on top of that, she's not taking other medications that she was on either, mostly over the counter, but I'm just telling you, the, the money savings is huge. The money savings is potentially enormous for people. Another thing I want to mention is that it's a great idea to be prepared in case of supply chain issues. We've all seen what the grocery stores and the drugstore shelves look like right now and in the past couple of years. It's been pretty rough. So um, we never know what's going to happen. And it's just a really good idea to have a plan in place. And when you know how to use the plants that are probably growing in your garden right now, or that you can easily obtain from the store, the grocery store, it's amazing. It's amazing what you can do for your health. One more person I want to talk about is Matt. Matt is a younger man uh, with a family and his doctor was putting him on, on all sorts of things. He started ditch the drugstore. He started to learn how to take care of him his body, looking at looking at his, himself holistically, making his own medications. And guess what? He's lost weight. He's saved a ton of money and he is now um, not having to take medicine. So it, the miracles just never cease with herbs. And I just want to say, God gave us the plants for a reason. God put these plants on earth for us to use for our wellness. I don't think he really meant for us to take one chemical out of a plant and give that uh, and, and have us use that. What he did is he made the plants with all of the constituents inside the whole plant and that plant is what works together and scientists don't understand a lot of the ways those plant chemicals work. So it's just really amazing. I'm just gonna throw that in there. I, uh, I'm excited about this because I have seen the results with different people, so many different people between my clients between my students and neighbors I have. And I know for a fact, unequivocally, that herbs work, essential oils work. You just need to know how to use them. So a moment ago, we were talking about uh, one of the sticking points for people new to the herbal world, and that is uh, being overwhelmed with all of the information and not knowing where to start. So uh, this book right here, The Natural Family Home Apothecary Guide, or the Family Pharmacy Guide, is a workbook that I created. It's not super long. It's got a few pages in it, but it's a way that you can work through what you personally need for your family. It's excellent. So you think about who is in your family, all of the family members that you work with, and you write about them. 
and I've added a lot because I actually have some students who have, you know, seven kids. <laughs> and some of us have very large families. Some of us have elders and, and people who are older. Some of us have little children. Some of us are raising grandkids and working with different age groups. So we need to be sure that we're taking all of those people into consideration because this is going to guide the kinds of remedies that you want to have in your home apothecary. The next step is you are going to make a list of the desired items in the following areas. So you're going to think about pain relief, your respiratory system, and after the last couple of years, the respiratory system, as we know, is a big deal. Uh, we're going to take a look at sleep, stress, relaxation, and focus. So uh, things like if you have, if you're homeschooling a child and you and you've got a little child who's having trouble focusing and concentrating and getting work done. Um, there are things you can do for that. First aid and small emergencies. And I just want to say, as for sleep, sleep is one of the biggest things I get complaints about <laughs> all the time. And uh, anyway, step three, this is where you're going to make priority decisions about where you're going to start. And I can help you with that if you have trouble. But this is where you do a little journaling and you make some decisions and you nail down what it is you want in your home apothecary to start with. And then you can go on from there. Next up, you're going to organize your apothecary. So many of these herbal preparations literally take five minutes to make, just like the ones you saw in the first two videos. Um, some preparations take a month. And it's not a month of active time. Uh, what it is, it takes about five minutes to get the preparation ready. And then there's a long period of maceration or soaking time. And within about four to six weeks, your herbs are going to process and be extracted into the solvent that you choose. And you're going to end up with this amazing product that will last a long time, sometimes decades <laughs> in the case of tinctures. And you will have them ready to go on your, on your shelf. It's amazing. Uh, step five, reference cards for your remedies. So you're also going to have access to these handy reference guides that you can, um, you can print as many as you want of these, but you can basically keep track of your bottles and your jars and things like that and uh, who you're using them for, what the shelf life is, the dosages, which I help you with as well, and all of that good thing. So before you, my the point of all this is that before you start working with herbs, if your intention is to build a workable home apothecary for yourself and your family, is to have a plan. You must have a plan because otherwise, you will get frustrated. <laughs> and and at, at some point, because I see this over and over, it happened to me too. At some point, you're going to go, I can't learn all this. If there's just too much, it's it's uh, something else again. But if you have a plan and you've, if you've got somebody um, holding your hand along the way and helping you, it's really easy to get it done literally within six to eight weeks. Okay. So next up, I'm, I just want to go over some of the questions. Um, the biggest questions that people have about this. So one of the first ones I always hear is that people don't have time. People don't have time to do this. They don't have time to learn it. And I'm just going to say right here, you saw how fast it was to make those herbal preparations in the first two videos. It was literally minutes <laughs> and you've got some really great remedies. But the other thing about it is, is that you don't have to spend time going to the grocery store or the drugstore and standing in front of those massive shells filled with concoctions of chemicals and wonder which one you should take for your child or for yourself if you're sick because you'll have it on your shelf. You'll have your own homemade remedies right on your shelf. The thing is also about the time is this course that I'm about to tell you about, Ditch the Drugstore, is basically going to fast track you to get that home apothecary ready within a short period and condensed period of time. This uh, herbalism class is actually going to lay out all the herbal foundations for you. And it's quite intensive if you go through it with the group, which you don't have to, you can go through it on your own too. But I'm there to hold your hand for you and be there for you in the student group and answer your questions. Okay. So that's just a fact. And the time factor is minimal when you have some help.
Next up, I hear this from people. I don't have the money. <laughs> and first off, when you look at how much money that you save on the, the stuff you go and buy in the drugstore, the pain relievers, the sleep aids, the menstrual cramp aids, the, my goodness, the first aid stuff, ointments, uh, pain relieving salves, uh, you name it. You know, it's, there's so much energy drinks. <laughs> Uh, for Pete's sake, you know, it, it's incredible how much people spend and they don't even realize it. I sat down and thought back to when I was basically working still in teaching. I taught for 30 years before I started this business and I, and this was before herbalism, so it was a long time ago. And I was thinking back to about how much money I spent a month for our family. And our family at that time was a family of five. Uh, three kids and uh, two adults, and it was right around five hundred dollars a month. And and I I sat there for a minute once I thought about that, and I that was at those days prices. By the way, that was like twenty years, thirty years ago. So looking at a massive increase in inflation on the prices now, but the fact is, is that had I known what I know now with my family back then, I would have saved thousands a year. <laughs> And so when it comes to the money, this is a money saving endeavor. Okay. The second thing is, is that a lot of the preparations don't cost a whole lot to make. Um, the onion honey cough syrup in that first video, it, it's pennies, it's pennies. So what you're doing here is investing in yourself. You invest in your education, you invest in your learning and you invest in a few herbs and essential oils and you get your things together and you're set. It's, it's really, something else again. So really, if money is a problem, then money should be a non-issue because it's very likely you're going to save so much more than you're spending. Another question that I get is fear. It's related to fear. So many people are, and in fact, I got a letter just the other day. A, a lady wrote to me and she's told me, she goes, I shy away from natural remedies because dosing is hardly ever mentioned. Well, that tells me she's afraid to take too much or too little or Ultimately, people are afraid of poisoning themselves or others with herbs. And the fact of the matter is, is the chances of you poisoning yourself with an herbal preparation uh, that you create yourself are pretty slim, like slim to almost none. And, and I say that with a grain of salt because obviously there are some dangerous herbs out there, but luckily, most of the herbs and the herbs that we use uh, for people and I use with clients are safe herbs. And when you do a, a little bit of research into the herbs that you decide you want to try and look at the contraindications, because um, some people who are on medications shouldn't take certain herbs, for example, or if you're pregnant or nursing, you might need to be a little bit aware or, um, you know, careful about some, some herbs, but really it's you'd have to, I don't know, it's just really hard to, to, to poison yourself with, with herbs. Think about acetaminophen for a moment, the active ingredient in Tylenol. Did you know that acetaminophen, Tylenol, is the number one killer of people for, with liver issues? Number one, it's not alcoholism. It's Tylenol. <laughs> Do some research on that. You'll see that I'm, I'm right. So the fear factor is something that really you need to uh, go look at the chemical ingredients on the over-the-counter drugs and just do some self-examination and then go look at a plant, a rosemary plant, or uh, go take a look at a sage plant and ask yourself, which is more dangerous? <laughs> it's not the plant. The next uh, common question I get is how much time will this take? And what about all the stuff online? I, I read stuff online and everything contradicts, you know, there's so much contradictory information. I don't know who to trust. And yes, that is a completely legitimate um issue. And this is where you want to locate an herbalist or an aromatherapist or luck better yet, both, somebody who's both 
to be able to ask your questions of because you need a trustworthy person to mentor you and to help you along this path. Uh, and the thing is, is that most courses uh, don't give you that. You know, they, they toss you into a student group and they say sink or swim and they hope people can answer the questions. They don't have the actual teacher there teaching and helping you and answering your questions week after week after week. And that's where I come in. So I, re I care so deeply about this topic and this subject. My goal is to have an herbalist in every extended family quickly <laughs> because the world is changing before our very eyes and it's very likely that this knowledge that we have access to right now might be taken away from us even further than it already has in the last 150 years. So don't let that happen to you. It's time to learn now. It's time to get these systems in place in your home now and it's time to become familiar with the plants now that can serve us for our wellness needs. So in the last three videos, you've learned how to make a few uh, easy, simple, and effective, safe uh, herbal preparations. You've heard several stories about my students, some of my students, uh, there are a lot more, <laughs> uh, who are wonderful examples about how herbs can work in a person's life. You've also seen how you can save a lot of money by using plants that are growing possibly right outside your door or that you can forage for or that you can purchase in bulk from quality herb stores and uh, use to make your herbal preparations. You've also seen how you can go ahead and have an, start having an actual plan uh, for getting your apothecary together. All right, so there's another video coming up. I'm going to introduce you to my course, Ditch the Drugstore. I love this course. I, I actually I actually developed this course because I saw the need for people to just be able to dive in safely and effectively and have positive experiences immediately with the plants and have some practical things they can, they can use right away on their shelves. So that was the impetus behind this course. My hope is, is that like literally 4,000 others of my other students who've gone through various courses of mine, you'll be able to start getting your home apothecary ready quickly. And I hope you'll leave a comment. And I have a gift for you. It's in the description at the end. So thank you for being here. <laughs>